Hi, today I'd like to show you how to play Shake Your Money Maker by Elmore James on tune to G, G, D, G. If you want to play along with his version, he's tuned to D, so you'd have to turn tune this down to D, this to A, and this to D, which wouldn't hurt your cigar box guitar if you're tuned in G. I'm going to do it in G because that's such a common tuning. The first lick, I'll play it for you and then I'll explain it to you. So what that is, is the low string then the middle string on zero. Low string, low string is always zero then. So zero on the low string, two on the middle, zero on the low string, three on the middle, zero on the low string, two. And then it goes to zero on the middle string. That's a kind of what they call a push. See how it's kind of pushes the song ahead? Um, and then there's a chord. And how I get the feel for the chord is down, up, up. I'll try to do that slow. And that's the basic riff. Uh, then we go up to the four chord, which is on the fifth fret. In this case, how we're tuned to be a C chord. And we try to play the same lick, which I'll spell it out for you. It would be five, 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 seven, five, eight, five, seven, five on the middle. Play it slow. So you're probably going to yourself, well, geez, that's going to be kind of hard to do up the speed. Yes, it would be. I don't think I could do it. But what I do is I use a palm on my hand. And after I play the first five, from then on, I mute that string. And it gives the illusion that I played the lick correctly. This is really handy when you only got three strings and you're tuned a certain way. And there's things you want to play that have a certain rhythm. If it's, if it's a quick rhythm, you can get away with this a lot. Trust me, I do all the time. And the chord is the same. It's on the fifth fret. Down, up. Then back to the first lick. So now we go up to the five chord. We don't play the whole lick. I'll slow it down for you. It's uh, seven. Five chord is found on the seventh fret, which in this case is a D chord. So we got seven, seven in the middle, seven, nine, seven, ten, seven, nine. Then we stop there and do the same thing on the five chord, which is a C chord, which would be five, five in the middle, five, seven, five, eight, five, seven. Okay, so I'll play that with the muting. I'll try to do that slower. And then to end the intro of the song, he goes up to the 12th fret. And he plays that uh, in 16th notes. So it's four sets of four notes, which is pretty tough to count. Um, pro the proper way to count it is one E and a. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, and then he ends on a one. And the singing starts. So. so I don't know if you want to try to count that or not, but uh, if you listen to it a few times, you sort of hear the accent, the one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one. Also, he does it um, on the high strings. So when we do it, um, we sound an octave lower. So we're kind of stuck with that. Uh, unless you can get up here to wherever the 24th fret would be. Also, uh, you can do an octave higher, like especially on the first chord. You could do it like this. Right? And you could do the same thing on the five chord. Do you have to get up to here? I just barely make it. Anyway, that's all you need to play the intro to Shake Your Money Maker by Elmore James. Have a great day. Bye.